Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1. Of course, this is the series where you guys choose the teams that we play with, heading through the head-to-head -head divisions, trying to get that Division 1 title. Now, we're coming towards the end of our Division 8 season. We're looking to pick up three points from this episode as a minimum to ensure that we win the title. We've already secured promotion. We need three points for the title, so if we could do that in any of these games today then we will definitely be pushing up into Division 7 with our third back-to-back -back title. Now the first game as you can see we're playing as Porto against Newcastle. Now the suggestion from or suggestion of Porto comes from Cessna style, Funky Town 49 into the ring and Francis Bruder so thank you very much to you guys for that suggestion. Now uh, as we said we come up against Newcastle Now this guy as you can probably tell from his uh, from his gamer tag as it pops up above the uh, above the players names he is a Newcastle fan or at least someone from the tune so, uh, so it's going to be a challenge when someone is uh, is a fan of a team and they they play consistently with a team they're a lot harder to play against and a lot harder to beat considering they just know the team they're playing playing with inside out whereas we're going into it playing as teams that I may not necessarily have played with before and I thought we'd taken the lead there Jackson Martinez putting the ball into the back of the net Tim Krull missed the ball over the top but he was just inches offside so so unlucky there not to go in at half time with a 1-0 lead but this was a very very close game tightly contested and I almost took the lead here again Tim Krull with two fantastic and very very important saves to keep us out but uh, we we're going to have another chance here breaking down the left hand side with Alexandro who's a very very good left back actually some nice interwoven passing moves and then with the final through ball through to Lucha Gonzalez and that is the best team or the best chance rather we've had to uh, to go one nil up so so unlucky if I'd have maybe perhaps pulled it across with his uh, with his left foot I let it run across him into with his right and then tried to place it into the far corner perhaps we would have been able to take the lead but uh, he smashed it wide really really disappointed and he was actually going to push on towards the end of the half as my players tired didn't really have that many options on the bench to bring fresh legs on because Porto don't have that much squad depth so well that not that much quality in squad depth so unfortunately we only take a point from this one but we're still undefeated in uh, in divisions in division eight rather that's uh, three wins and four draws now in, uh, in division seven so that leaves us with two points being needed for the title so we head into the second game as Andelect as suggested by Sam VVJ John Smith ODJ FIFA and Bryce Henry now uh, Andelect are a team that I haven't played with before and uh, I didn't know of any of the players apart from Van Bora the right back and I'll be completely honest, much with the case of uh, Kaiserslautern in the previous episode or the one before that, I wasn't too keen on how Antelec played, but they played better than Kaiserslautern, but still I wasn't I wasn't comfortable playing with them. I didn't feel like I knew exactly where each pass needed to go to, uh, to you know to create a chance. And I was lucky here because that pass wasn't where it was supposed to go, or wasn't the best option. But uh, we were fortunate that the deflection from the defender knocked it down into the path of the striker, smashes it into the back of the net, and we take a one-nil lead just before the half hour. We were actually going to make it two as we uh, we pushed on just after half hour, not too long after the first goal. Fantastic strike from uh, from I'm uh, not really too. I presume it's. Gillet, Gillet, something like that. I don't want to just call him Gillet because he's clearly uh, of French or well, Belgian, or you know, it would be pronounced in a French accent. So I will call him Gillet. But uh, uh, fantastic strike, nonetheless, regardless of how you actually pronounce his bloody name. Uh, but we went in almost at half time with a 2 0 lead. But he was actually going to peg one back. Greg Halford, the centre back, playing up top for Nottingham Forest because they've got a few injuries in real life. And this guy's clearly gone into the game with uh, the default lineup. So uh, he was playing with uh, with his centre back up top. Fantastic header, as you would expect from a centre back, in off the post. And uh, we unfortunately went in at half time being pegged back to 2 1. And he was actually another cross. Greg Halford involved again through to Patterson, who has actually been scoring a lot of goals in real life. And uh, it's a quite a surprise he hasn't gotten in form yet on Ultimate Team but he was able to bring us back to 2-2 and unfortunately we still haven't yet claimed that Division 8 title we needed 3 points heading into the episode and we've picked up 2 from the opening 2 games so we need to head into the third one with PSG looking for at least a draw to ensure that we were able to come out with that title. This one was suggested by Temper Designs, ah Ahmed Medafra and Mr. FIFA 14, uh, the most obvious of uh, usernames. But so we come up against Chelsea after playing a team that we'd already played with uh, in Nottingham Forest in the previous episode. We come up against the team that I support in this one and he actually played football the way I do personally with Chelsea. He played a very, very high percentage possession based game but he caught himself out there 
loose with possession, passed the ball straight to Lucas Moura, who raced away. Unfortunately, we were uh, we were able to get the rebound with Ibrahimovic. Puts 1-0 up early on inside the 8th minute. But uh, Van der Ville is actually going to go on a nice run here. Plays the ball back out to Verratti, but it's going to turn inside David Luiz. And I thought about making another turn inside, but I thought, nah, bollocks, I'm just going to smash it. Smash it, he did, right into the far top corner. And we take an early 2-0 lead inside 20 minutes. And we're only just past 20 minutes before we're going to take a third goal and a 3-0 lead. Lead. Thiago Motta whips the corner in. Up goes Marquinhos. I decided to swap him out for Alex, who was in the starting lineup, just because he's a little bit taller and he's uh, he's faster. Even though Alex is an absolute brute, I uh, I prefer Marquinhos when playing on uh, on head to head. And he made a, just a clear mistake there. Played the ball straight to Lucas. Lovely little scoop turn to uh, to take it round Petacek. A little bit of showboating from me unnecessarily, but uh, I decided to do it nonetheless because uh, it was we were playing convincingly well and uh, we're just going to run out an easy victory in this one before up inside half an hour so it really wasn't going to take long before the rage quick came I'd wait to have a look at that replay again because that's fantastic from lucas the scoop turn and as you can well imagine that did bring the rage quit 11 shots 10 on target he's won in the opening half an hour there's no surprise that he left but he was talking in the, in uh, in spanish as through i could hear it through his connect as uh, as i was ending that game and as he paused it he just went Bye bye, and then rage quit, which uh, made me absolutely wet myself with uh, with laughter. But we take that division eight title, so uh, we're pleased to do so, and we'll head into division seven in the next episode. So if there's a team that you'd like me to play with, feel free to leave a comment in the section down below to let me know which teams I should use as we head into division seven. But that's going to bring this one to a close. So please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. If you didn't see the previous episode, then there's an annotation on screen on the left hand side to take you to that video. If you uh, aren't subscribed to the channel already then feel free to do so there's an annotation on screen over the subscribe button and a link in the description to do so we are so very close to 5,000 subscribers as I record this so maybe we can reach that over this weekend and if you don't follow me on Twitter already at Chesnoy Gaming then of course feel free to do that as well there'll be a link to that in the description also so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time